Hello, welcome to my presentation on how to have a fraction in your head. I came to realize the other day that the, when I was in a fast food restaurant, the need of people to learn some basics on fractions. A young man standing in line told me I should get a quarter pounder since I, it was larger than a one third. As I talked to this young man, I found out he had already graduated from the public school system. So today I'm going to show how a person can take any fraction and divide it by two in, he in his head. First of all, I'm going to start with three fours. The top number is known as a numerator and the bottom number is known as a denominator. The first step in uh, dividing a fraction in half is to keep the numerator. So I'm going to copy it over here. Now I'm going to take the uh, denominator and I'm going to double it. So I say 4 times 2 and as you see here it equals 8 and I'm going to copy it up here. So this is 3 eighths. 3 eighths is half of 3 fourths. It's that, very, it's that simple. Let's uh, try a different fraction. This time let's go with 7 elevenths. Let's copy the 7 over. We take the 11, multiply it by 2, we get 22. We place the 22 up underneath here. So now we have 7 20 seconds. This is half of 7 elevenths. Let's try uh, another fraction here, 15 sixteenths. So um, we take the 15, copy it over here, take the 16, multiply it by 2, we get 32, place the 32 here. So 15 30 seconds is half of 15 16. Now let's try a different uh, for kind of fraction here. A fraction that has a whole number with it, 34 3 eighths. First of all, we need to take the 34 and divide it by 2. So 2 into 3 goes one time. Place the 2 here, then we're going to say 3 subtract 2 equals 1. Now we're going to bring the 4 down. So 2 into 14 goes 7 times. So here's our answer, 17. So, um, half of 34 is 17. Now we need to take the 3, copy the 3 over. We'll take the 8, multiply it by 2, we get 16. Place the 16 here. So half of 34 3 eighths is 17 3 sixteenths. Now I'm going to go back to the 3 fourths to demonstrate graphically why doubling denominator will cut a fraction in half. Here we have a pie graph representing a uh, force. You can see it's uh, divided in uh, four equal sections. Now let's first uh, let's assume that this white section here, this uh, section had been removed, taken out. So we only left with three pieces here. And I colored each one individually uh, to help demonstrate how dividing them in half. Now if I was to divide this one in half here, I would have two halves of this fourth or, or one, each one of these would represent an eighth. Let's go ahead and divide all, all of them and you can see why they would be eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is because um, the bottom number here or the denominator uh, represents the total sections it would take to equal a whole. The numerator represents how many of those sections are being used. Now if I was to take 1, 2, and 3 eighths and rem uh, separate it from the rest, you will see, see remember the blue was 1 fourth and the red was 1 fourth and the green was 1 fourth. You can see where I cut this red in two and uh, join it with this one to get uh, a three eighths and here's a three eighths. That's why um, doubling the uh, denominator will always cut the uh, fraction in half. I hope this has been a help to you. Uh, thank you for watching.